Hey everyone, welcome back to the Children's Message. Your favorite time of the day, my favorite time of the day, and Teddy's favorite time of the day. I just finished reading the book of Jonah, the story of Jonah, and it is amazing. It is way more than a person being swallowed by a fish. It is a story of love and of forgiveness and how God still chooses to love and to forgive even our enemies. Well, do you want to know the rest of the story? You know what to do. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tour of This Message. So, in the story of Jonah, we left Jonah when he was swallowed by the fish and then vomited out, right? And around the land of Nineveh. And now God comes to Jonah and says, Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh and say these words. And Jonah goes ahead and finally goes to the city, the really big city of Nineveh. Now, how big is the city of Nineveh? It is a three day journey walking. Just three days. That is, that's really, really long, really long. And you know what Jonah did? Jonah walked one day journey, a one day journey, and then just uttered these words. And he said, 40 days more and Nineveh shall be overthrown. Basically, Nineveh shall be destroyed. And that's it. That's all little Jonah said. And he said, my job is done. I'm walking away. However, this message, this sentence moved the people of Nineveh, the king of Nineveh, and even the animals. The king said, everyone is going to ask for forgiveness to God. We're going to pray and ask for him to be merciful. God saw how sorry they were and how much they were praying that he said, okay, I forgive them. And Jonah did not like that at all. Jonah went up to a mountain and it actually says this, listen to what Jonah says to God. But this was very displeasing to Jonah and he became very angry. He prayed to the Lord and said, isn't this what I said back in my hometown of why I fled to Tarshish? Remember he went all the way to the other side uh, instead of going to Nineveh. I knew that you are a gracious God and a merciful God, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, ready to relent from punishing. Jonah stayed there and waited in the mountain to see what was going to happen to the people in Nineveh. He was actually waiting for them to go back to their old ways and for God to punish them. And God, you know what, wanted to teach Jonah a lesson. And while Jonah was there, the sun was beating heavily on his face, meaning it's really, really, really hot, really, really hot. And God made a little uh, bush come out and covered Jonah and gave him shade. And Jonah was really happy about this. And the next day, God also sent a little worm and the worm ate the roots and ate a part of the of that bush and the bush withered and it died and Jonah was so angry and so upset that he wanted to die he was done he was just oh, I'm over I'm just and you know what God said Jonah why are you so upset over this bush that you didn't you didn't like create you didn't tend to it but it just grew up in a day and then left in a day. Why is, why do you care more about this bush than about the people of Nineveh? Shouldn't I have mercy towards them? Isn't this land of Nineveh more important than this bush? This story is also a mirror to us. Sometimes we get bullied. Sometimes we don't like, you know, the teachers that we might have in school. Sometimes we don't like our classmates or just the team members that we might be uh, competing with, uh, you know, whether it be basketball, baseball, softball, volleyball, whichever. Uh, sometimes we have in competitions, we have people who we just, we have to beat, right? And we, we see them when we're like, we're rivals, right? And sometimes it gets very intense. And sometimes there's some people that we just disagree with and we don't like and we just 
rather stay away from them. And what the story of Jonah is telling us is that this, in the same way that God is merciful towards us and of all the things that we do, God is also loving and merciful to the ones we consider enemies. Would you please pray with me? Let us pray. Loving God, help us to learn that you don't only love us, but you love all people. You love everyone in this world. And God, you want to show mercy and love to them. Help us to understand that. Help us to accept that. And help us to share your words to them. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great weekend. And you know what? It's pretty cold. So bundle up this weekend, okay? It's going to be pretty chilly over here. And until next time, God bless.